So students, uh, in this module, we will look at a practical example also. Although the title is about check boxes, but we will look briefly at the radio buttons and for buttons also with reference to a pizza company which is uh, selling pizzas and would like to uh, have the customers order the pizzas through the website and there are uh, main three main types of pizzas with certain toppings of course that is not very interesting that is very kind of boring but as the company progresses and the company grows it offers more different types of pizzas and using those buttons using the check boxes and radio buttons i'll show you that how we add the versatility and uh, taste also to the orders so let's look at the module coverage so working with select boxes the issues with the select boxes with reference to evaluating them then working with check boxes and working with radio buttons so i believe the things would be clear then let's go ahead so the heart of the example is twofold what you see on your left side on your screen the, this code i am talking about this code this code uh, the click event handler and the flip function each input element that begins with the string special is selected with the jquery selector these are then looped through with the jquery each function and the click event handler is added to each using the jquery on function the click event handler calls the flip function the resulting code looks like this so we have this is the resulting code i am talking about and this is the flip one i am talking about and you can see the flip is over here also and this is the each i was talking about the flip function looks like this okay this is the flip function i was referring to flip function this function examines the value of the pizza type variable that gets passed into the function and then using the conditional changes the value of the select box called topping so we have these three types of pizzas one two and three and this is the main topping okay main topping is the cheese over here and this is the cheese over here so this is okay but this is not very interesting this is not in reality reality there is lot of variety so now we are looking at more interesting stuff the preceding example shows how to obtain information from a form and how to set information within a form although the form doesn't look like much and the pizza company isn't making many pizzas right now it's growing because of the popularity of its pizzas future examples in this module expand on this form okay so pizza type topping now there is the pizza type then there are three types of crust also one two and three and there are many many toppings many toppings okay which were not covered in the previous one so in the previous slide i showed the basic form that is not very interesting the company was not making many pizzas okay but when there is the main topping okay then of course that allows the flexibility many toppings recall that in the initial pizza ordering system when the pizza order taker selected one of the three pizza types the main topping select box changed to reflect the main ingredients of the pizza however allowing more flexibility such as more pizza types would be nice okay it would be nice to have more pizza types and then of course the previous example showed select boxes and you saw text boxes used earlier in this module too another type of box a check box allows users to select multiple items pizza ordering scenario introduced serves as a good example for illustrating the check box so now let's look at more interesting stuff so what you see right now is this form over here okay and selecting the various ingredients and clicking the pizza button displays the selected pizza toppings on the screen so you can select multiple values over sausage toppings over here mushrooms and onions also so it is not limited to the three not limited to the three types okay and of course this is what you have selected this is what you have selected so it, it helps you so let's look at the code behind what is happening over here 
the heart of the page is the function prep the this is i am talking about over here which is the heart of the code okay over here i will show you more details which starts by gathering the number of checkboxes contained within the form pizza form these are selected using the name attribute topping check along with the checked filter all part of the jquery as follows okay this is i am talking about and let's look at more detail so what we have over here each of the checked element is looped through and a new these are the elements this element p is identified is created like the previous example a uh, click event handler is added using the jquery on okay the on is used over here and keep this example in mind because you can use it to combine with the functionality that automatically selects toppings when a user presses a button as in the select box example we saw earlier so this adds more functionality now remember now you can have more toppings you can have more toppings okay but one thing is missing which is the crust crust is missing so how do we go and handle the crust let's look at it so you need to have this radio buttons over here radio buttons also create a group of options but unlike check boxes only one radio button from the group can be selected at given time only one in the context of the pizza restaurant example visitors might use the radio button to select the type of crust for the pizza thin deep dish or regular okay so you can have one of them because the pizza can have only one kind of crust using radio buttons for this selection type makes sense adding radio buttons to select a crust type results in a page that looks like this this code that processes the radio buttons is similar to the code you saw in the that process the check boxes so i am not showing this code the main difference is that radio buttons all share the same name and logical grouping meaning that they are grouped together and only one can be checked at a time the code for processing the radio button is added to the prepza function and it looks like this so this is all for this module so we have the pizza type the pizza toppings and the type of crust so enjoy your pizza